What's up, guys? I wanted to talk about why everyone is saying that moto vlogging is dead. Alright, so first, my name is Dylan Dungy. I run Wretched Clothing, Wretched Nation, whatever you want to call it, uh, on Instagram, or Wretched Nation underscore. But I own Wretched Clothing. So, I have a business all about clothing, motorcycle world, blah, blah, blah. I've been making videos for a while now. And I've definitely done some motor vlogs in my day. Um, I enjoy doing YouTube. I enjoy putting out a video and then hopefully you know decades from now I can look back on everything and see what I've done with my life and just reminisce about some of the memories and it'll be in video form so I've done a lot of videos uh, and I've done a lot of moto vlogs uh, but let's define moto vlogging so this is basically a vlog it's just a video I'm talking I'm giving my opinion expressing my feelings, blah, blah, blah. Uh, also, I'll consider this like a talking head video. I'm just kind of standing here talking about something, right? Well, moto vlogging, in my mind, is pretty much hopping on this bike, putting on a helmet, rigging up some cameras, and basically doing this video, but riding a motorcycle. Now, is that better than doing a talking head video? I think so. Um, as long as your equipment is up to snuff. You know, biggest thing is audio when it comes to these type of things. But those videos can be a little numbing depending on the uh, content of those videos. I think a lot of them are just used as filler. This video very well could be uh, construed as just a filler video. I like to do two videos a week. It very well could just be like, hey, I need to put something out. Let's put that out. That's kind of what this video could possibly be seen as. But I have seen it come up where multiple people have talked about moto vlogging. Is it dead? Is it worth it? It's not, you know, working like it used to be. Some of the big creators, uh, there's people out on YouTube that that's basically all they do now another form of moto vlogging I should say it's not just you hopping on the bike and talking about a topic while you're just aimlessly riding around the last video that I just finished editing and will probably come out right before this one you could consider was a moto vlog now I had no real purpose of the video we made it was me and my wife. We took this bike out yesterday and we rode to a downtown car show, which was pretty massive. It's a big deal. It's not just some, you know, monthly or whatever uh, car show. It's a yearly event. And we went out, we rode, and we went there. And then we went to my buddy's shop, uh, Boone Motor Co., where we actually have some of our clothing in there. If you'd love to check us out, wretchedclothing.com. Greatly appreciate it. But uh, we actually have some of our stuff in the store, and I was stopping by because I needed to restock a few items. He doesn't live that far from me. I love to drop stuff off in person. I'm not going to ship to him because we're going to hop on the bike and we're going to go ride. So that could be perceived as kind of a moto vlog. You know, I did some video in person walking around and showing off what I was doing, but we also had a camera on my helmet and recorded you know, not a lot, but just some words and stuff as what we were doing along the way. So that could be kind of construed as a moto vlog also. But we're not going to define that as a moto vlog. We're going to try to get into what I'm talking about because I'm kind of rambling here a little bit. And I'm sure you have clicked off at this point. If you have not, I appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button and you'll be a better person for it. But... Motive vlogging in my mind is just having an idea, something you want to talk about, hop on the bike, talk about that topic, and not really show much else. Um, I think it is a better form 
of getting information across because you can put in a couple things that, you know, just, I don't want to say distracts, but just throws in a couple extra elements to a video that might be a little more boring if you're just standing here talking in front of a motorcycle. But I wanted to stand here and talk about a motorcycle or in front of a motorcycle because I wanted to compare that. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen to you along the road. You don't know what you're going to see. Uh, you know, anytime, I hate to say it, but anytime something bad happens or like you break down or you see something just really cool along the side of the road, that could really boost your video and make it cooler and more fun to watch. You just riding around and just speaking, uh, that can be a little mind numbing, but I still watch those videos. I watch them. Usually I'm listening to them as I'm doing uh, busy work for the business. I still enjoy that content, but I do think that it is going away a little bit. And I think the attention span, people are not quite looking for that content anymore. I think your like core watchers are going to watch that. I think your core fans, subscribers, whatever you want to call them, they'll watch that. But just your average person probably will click over that video, even if they're a subscriber of you who just watches some of your videos. They'll probably click over that one if they realize it's just you riding and talking. I do know a lot of the click rate through that or for that is your thumbnail and your title. Uh, but I do want to say that I feel like I'm finding many more riders, new riders, new vloggers, new YouTubers in this space, uh, and it's popping up. I do want to put like a disclaimer. I am not talking about, uh, street bikes. I'm not talking about, uh, the metric cross rockets, whatever you want to call them. Not talking about those. They have a bigger, more massive following than the cruisers, baggers, American made motorcycles. Um, we, in my opinion, have a much smaller pool of people than the crotch rocket people do. There's, there's more of them. I, I think there's more people making videos, more content to watch. I feel like, especially Harley Davidson's, baggers, cruisers, not nearly as many as of us. And I think the demographic is a little less likely to watch some of that content or some of those people aren't avidly watching because they're having a hard time finding that content. Uh, I do think that's changing. I, I'm, it may just be me along my journey on YouTube. Uh, we're not monetized or anything, but uh, as me filming this, I think we got just over 1,600 subscribers. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. But I am seeing more people pop up on my uh, homepage of doing what I do. And those low-level people that probably are not monetized either. That only have a few subs and they're not getting a lot of views on their videos. I'm starting to see that pop up. So I think we might be on a turning point for vlogging or content in particular. Um, I prefer to watch the content of like bike builds, trips, travel, certain events, or a very specific reason for that video. Not just somebody hopping on their bike, talking about a topic on the way to get coffee or whatever. Or maybe not to do anything at all, but just ride around until their words have expelled from their mouth. Um, I am more likely to watch a series of something, a build series, uh, a trip, um, product. Uh, I, I like business. I like any of that stuff. Uh, I'm way more likely to watch those things, and I think other people are as well. I don't think many people are going to watch this video because of the format that it is. And that's fine. Uh, I just, it was on my brain and I wanted to talk about it. 
Uh, I think motovlogging is dying because the concept of it is a little boring. Uh, that's just me. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about just straight up motovlogging with nothing else happening in the background? Because I feel like if you get up, you do an activity, you show something, and then you ride your bike, talk about some stuff, show a destination, show what you're doing, get on your bike, talk a little bit, get back, show what you're doing. I think that's just an overall uh, composed video. I don't think that's just motovlogging. Um, I, I, as long as there's some other stuff going in, my definition could be different from yours. I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but just riding around talking with no other context or activity or things coming in, I think that is possibly on its way out. I think maybe people like the talking heads a little bit better, especially if you do some cool editing in here. I, I edit my own videos. I can't do that. I'm not a good editor or anything. But I would love to hear why you think it's dying. I think the attention span is a big part. I think people are getting a little bored with it. Um, I think maybe there's just not enough content in the video to keep people's interest. You know, they're not watching the whole thing. Therefore, it's not getting pushed out by the algorithm. Um, maybe the thumbnails and stuff are a little too clickbaity and people don't appreciate that. Um, it could be a lot of different things. Um, but... I'm going to end this video here because I don't want to ramble anymore. I just kind of wanted to use this as get my thoughts across and see what you guys think about motovlogging. I'm going to try to just not do boring videos. If I have something to say, I'll just kind of come out and say it and uh, get my point across that way. Um, I have another video that I'm going to do right after this on that same thought process uh, because... I was talking with my buddy Boone about it, so we're going to, and I have an idea, and I want to get those points across. So I'm not going to do it in the mode of vlog style, because the audio is not going to be nearly as good either. So we'll do it like this. Um, but yeah, if you watch this video to its fullest, you're a real one. Comment down below, you're a real one. I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. Let us know on your thoughts of moto vlogging. Is it dying? Is it getting better? Are more people getting into it? Obviously, we're going to have more flow of people doing the moto vlog thing because it's kind of easy to get into. If you already have a motorcycle, you're going to have a helmet, strap a GoPro to it, and do some talking. I feel like it's a great, easy way to get into the YouTube space, and it's a low barrier of entry, so a lot of people are going to do it. It's just a lot of people aren't going to do it well. And there are some people who do it really well out there. I do watch some of them. Uh, but I'm probably not one of those. And most of the people watching this probably aren't that either. So more cool content. Motorcycle content. We love to see it. It is happening. Moto vlogging is just a part of it. Is it dying? I don't know. I feel like it's dying out a little bit. But as long as people are just throwing it in there for filler and kind of updates. It's great for update videos. I think it'll be just fine. It's never going to go away completely. And I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, I think it could be a little boring. But if you want to watch your favorite creator and really know what's going on in their life, that's a great way to do it. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, keep it wretched.